Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... An introduction to folds. Folds are formed when flat features are bent, when being deformed. Take this flat slab of rock. When squeezed, like this, the flat slab undergoes compression, squeezing it, which causes the flat slab to buckle, forming a fold. When we study folds, we look for this, the axial plane, which is the plane that divides the fold as symmetrically as possible. Where the axial plane meets the hinge of the fold, here, is called the fold hinge. As the layer of rock bends away from the fold hinge, the areas either side of the hinge, looking like arms or legs, here and here, are called limbs. A fold that bends convexly upwards, like this, is called an antiform, which we can remember by the outline of the fold looking like a capital A, and A stands for antiform. A fold that bends concavely downwards, like this, is called a sinform, which we can remember by the outline of the fold looking like the letter U, as it bends downwards, and also by the word sinform, starting with S, the fold looking like a happy smile. If we take two layers of rock, a lower, older layer, overlain by a younger layer, and then squeeze and compress them, if the layers bend convexly upwards, then an anticline forms, with the older layers in the core of the fold, surrounded by the younger layers to the outside of the fold. Alternatively, if we compress the same flat layers, but they bend downward, then a syncline forms, with the younger layers in the core of the fold, surrounded by the older layers to the outside of the fold. Look at the differences. We can study the tightness of the folding too, with three basic types, which we measure using the relation of the limbs to the fold hinge. If the limbs dip gently away from the hinge, then the fold is open. A fold with the limbs that are closer together and dipping steeply is said to be tight. And a fold with the near parallel limbs is said to be isoclinal. When we compare the fold hinge in relation to the horizontal ground surface, if the fold hinge is parallel to the ground, we say the fold is non-plunging. If the fold hinge is not parallel to the ground, we say the fold is plunging, as the seaward plunging anticline demonstrates in Cornwall, England, the hinge line dipping away from the land, angled down towards the sea. We know the two basic forms of folds are anticlines and synclines, but there are other types of folds. One is a monocline fold, the term mono meaning one. A monocline fold forms due to opposing pressures, forming a fold where both limbs are parallel but offset to each other, the limbs being horizontal or near horizontal. As seen in these folded Carboniferous Age strata in Cornwall, England, and in the Jurassic Age strata of the famous Stair Hole in southern England. A symmetrical fold has a vertical axial plane, the limbs being equidistant from the axial plane, as demonstrated by these folded strata in southwest England. An asymmetrical fold is one in which the axial plane is inclined, making the limbs dip at different angles, as seen here in folded limestones and mudstones in southwest France. An overturned fold has a highly inclined axial plane, such that the strata on one limb are overturned. This cliff face in Namibia displays a syncline in late Proterozoic Age strata, whose left-hand limb has been overturned to the right, making the fold overturned. A recumbent fold has a very low angle, essentially horizontal, axial plane, resulting in overturned strata in one limb of the fold, as is seen in these folded Carboniferous Age deposits. In a chevron fold, with the term chevron simply meaning V-shape, the interlimb angles are generally 60 degrees or less, and often form repeated folded beds with straight limbs and sharp hinges, the axial planes ranging in orientation from vertical through to horizontal, as is seen in this small-scale fold in Cambrian Age Schist in North Wales, 
and in the famous sequence in the cliffs at Millock Haven in Cornwall, England. Wow! A dome is formed when our two layers of rock are uplifted at one point compared to their surroundings, forming a raised circular structure, which then, in seen in cross-section from above, exposes the older layers in the centre of the dome. As exemplified by the 40 kilometre wide ridge structure in the Sahara Desert in Mauritania, with its late Proterozoic age strata within the centre of the dome, younging outwards to the younger Ordovician age sandstone around its edges. A basin starts as horizontal layers, but is depressed compared to its surroundings, making a bowl-shaped circular structure, as we can see in cross-section, when viewed from the side. That's amazing! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!